Hi, I'm Ko, and today we're decorating a master bedroom. Decorating a room when you're over 50 has some unique challenges. We have budgets, limited incomes, fixed incomes that we have to worry about. We have a lot of stuff, mementos, personal items, keepsakes that we really love to save and put out but sometimes we're in limited space because we are downsizing. We also have to think about the maintenance and upkeep of some of these rooms after we design them. We're getting a little bit older. Maybe we need to think about keeping it clean. How high are the ceilings? How high are the curtains? Do we have light fixtures that have to be cleaned that are hanging? We have to think about those things. This is part of a series of a lake house build and design. We have one big project that we've been working on and that is a lake house. Check out this footage of the master bedroom we're working on before we started decorating and right after construction. Master bedroom. Not a lot to say about it. We've kept it as simple as we could. Same fans, same colors, same color up on the ceiling. But these are like pictures. They're like paintings. The, the view is amazing. So I'm going to make sure that what I put in this room doesn't fight it. This is the whole reason we're here. As you know, I use my fail-proof process to decorate any room that I'm working on. However, before you start decorating, think about one very important thing. You have to stand in that room, look around and see what it's already offering you. Be very, very careful. This particular room has magnificent views. If I do not decorate this room properly, those views will not be seen. Everything I do needs to be secondary to that. For this room, this means no low hanging light fixtures, no four poster beds. I have to make sure the views are not obstructed. My decorating process shows you how to get the look you want in eight very simple steps. As I have said and will continue to say, I am not an interior designer. I'm not even close. I've been reading design magazines since the early 80s. I've been watching design programs since the early 90s. But I had a mom who told me I could do anything around the house and make it look better if I just tried. She taught me how to do everything. Wallpaper, paint walls, stencil walls, stained furniture, rip up carpet. She taught me that I needed to be fearless when it came to designing spaces. I needed to risk, I needed to Take a chance, and I know if I can do it, you can do it. So let's get right to it. Step number one, what is the purpose of the room? This is a bedroom, yes, but it's also supposed to be sort of a respite. This is a lake home. Really, I wanted something that I could sit, drink coffee, watch the views, watch the wildlife, and just really, really enjoy being at the lake and feeling like I'm not missing anything. We really do use this. It's an area where we drink coffee and listen to music, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful room. But the purpose of it is ultimately to sleep. So we wanted to make sure that it was comfortable and peaceful and relaxing. Step two, what is the overall look for the room? This is the most important step. Start looking on Pinterest, start looking in magazines. I've said it a thousand times. Just look at what you like, put it in a folder, whether a physical folder or a Pinterest folder. Just accumulate these. After a while, you really will find that you're gravitating to one particular look. And it doesn't matter if you like Art Deco, if you like mid-century modern, if you like farmhouse, colonial, none of that matters. Just make sure you gravitate towards your own style. Don't worry about anybody else's. This is about you and what you want. Step three, choose your fabrics. I decided that the master bedroom needed to be neutral, calming. No fancy furniture, no carvings, nothing like that. Just something very, very clean, straight lines. So I went on to Howes and Pinterest and looked for neutral bedrooms that I could emulate. I wanted something that matched the walls. It made it very easy for me, but it wasn't easy to get there. I went through black, I had a black coverlet for a while. I had a gray coverlet for a while. I even had a mustard coverlet. I'm not really sure why I did. I tried a lot of different things. Nothing really worked. 
until I found a coverlet that was the same color as the walls. And suddenly, the room brought me peace. And that's what it should have done from the very beginning. Step four, choose your hard surfaces. Countertops, tile, flooring. In this case, I just have to worry about flooring. I am using the same flooring throughout the house, but it does have a very rich, warm, mellow color. And I'm going to make sure that everything in that room feels that rich. Step five, choose your paint. Paint is usually something we do later in the process because it's easier to match it to any fabrics or any furniture or anything that you want to match to. It's the most flexible of all the elements that we choose. I chose colors that we're using throughout most of the house, but I'm using the same color on the ceilings and on the trim. The trim has a higher gloss though. So it's very, very peaceful. Not a lot of breaking up of lines and lots of moldings. It's very, very, very simple. Step six, choose your wood tones. Normally I don't worry about matching my furniture to the floors. It really doesn't matter. But this room, I really wanted to be very simple and I didn't want a lot of new elements introduced into the room. So I ordered the bed that we have off of Overstack. Overstack, that's a new one, okay. So I found the bed that's in there on Overstock or Bed Bath & Beyond. And I really like it because it has spindles. It's not a solid headboard. It didn't feel so heavy. And it does not have a footboard. If you get a bed that doesn't have a footboard, sometimes it's a little bit cheaper. So think about that. It also takes up less space. And I didn't want anything to take up space in that room. I also bought some very low end tables on either side that came off of Overstock as well. I got those and a bench from TJ Maxx, and that's all I have in there. So it's very simple, very mellow colors. Everything is low to the ground. It's good to have beds that are low to the ground when you're over 50, 60, 70. We're not getting any younger, and it's easier to get in and out of the bed. So think about that too. Step seven, do we have any existing pieces to work with? It is always a yes with me. Of course it is. I'm 60 years old. Yes, I have a lot of stuff I have to reuse. The chair that we put in the corner, I love it to death, but oh my goodness, I think it's 30 or 35 years old. But it still looks good. It matched pretty well and it's paid for. That's really important to me. So I didn't want to go out, buy a bunch of new stuff, and somehow this really worked. And this goes back to if you always choose things that you like, you'll be able to use them again and again and again because you have your own personal taste. So own it and make sure everything you buy stays within that lane. Step eight, lighting. I chose swing arm sconces to go on either side of the bed. Lamps seemed kind of heavy and they take up a lot of space on the small end tables. Using these swing arms has been wonderful. They're great for task lighting. I can move them however I want to. They're black, which goes with the fan and goes with the surrounds on the windows. So I really like these sconces. You can get those on Amazon. Let me give you some other considerations for designing your master bedroom. Rugs, 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 rugs. Y'all know I love a good rug -a bowl especially in a lake house. They're so durable, easy to clean, and they don't have a large pile on it. So when you walk around, you can keep it clean. It feels really good underfoot. I highly recommend them. I like this particular design because it's very unintrusive. It actually just is a nice background for the views. And that's all I wanted. Another thing to consider is a ceiling fan. I am a postmenopausal woman over 60. I'm gonna need a breeze in that room. I have to have a breeze in every room. So think about fans. They're cheaper than a regular light fixture. And a lot of them are so pretty now. And they're very, very comfortable. So think about using ceiling fans. Curtains. Everybody always has questions about curtains. Never ever have curtains that come to the bottom of a windowsill if the windowsill is high off the floor. You do not want short curtains in any room. These go all the way to the floor. I have them as high as I can have them. It really does elongate the window. And because they are so neutral, they don't look too busy. You'll also notice that there are three windows in that room and I only have two curtain rods. 
I tried to run the rods the length of the walls so I could move the curtains in front of whatever window I needed to move them in front of. When I don't need curtains, I just push them on a blank wall and they blend in with the color. Perfect. Another consideration, TV. In a master bedroom, most people like to have a TV. Wanting to keep things very simple, I didn't want a huge TV in that room. So we have one hanging in the corner. It has a small shelf underneath it where I could put a DVD player and some movies. I didn't want a piece of furniture in there that I had to put the TV on top of. I really wanted to keep things off the floor, keep it very walkable. It's not a very large room. Think about hanging it on the wall. Think about hanging it in a corner. Corners are really hard to work with to begin with. So take that space and use it for your TV. Make sure the bracket holding the television is flexible and will turn and will push out from the wall. There's so many different ones that can hold so many different weights of TVs. All you have to do is a little bit of research. Amazon has plenty of them. You can get them at any of the big box stores. I highly recommend doing a little bit of research on that. I really hope this episode has helped you become fearless when decorating your room. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe to our channel.